Hello everybody, welcome back to one more video from Hyperpix Productions. I'm Mary and today I'm honoured to introduce one of the most powerful uh, products just created up to now for Photoshop uh, to you. Uh, and I'm going to show you how you can work with it in this video. Uh, Hyperfiery is the latest Photoshop action which we have created which allows you to convert your text or your logos uh, just with a single click into the most realistic fiery effect which is created up to now for photoshop and use it in all your different projects so in this video i'm going to show you how you can do so uh, so all you need to do is just follow me to the end of the video and before we get started subscribe our youtube channel so you can download hyperfiery from hyperpix.net after download just extract that out of the zip form we have an install folder a template and a guide folder uh, so to install uh, and work with this product guys uh, first of all I suggest you to open the template in your Photoshop just like this uh, notice that uh, you need to uh, just uh, do your work on the template uh, folder and then you can just uh, take it to your projects use it there this action is created uh, to just work on this document and so we come to the install folder we have three files right here fire reaction brush and pattern uh, so to install them in Photoshop, we just double click on each one, just like this. Uh, one more time for the brush. And we download the pattern with a double click. Uh, so as we uh, installed them, they're added to our Photoshop. So I'm going to check to make sure. We just come to the window, uh, select Actions. This window opens right here. We open Hyperfiery. Uh, check it out, it's uh, added. So also we just select the brush tools. And we have all of our uh, hyperfiery brushes right here, which it means they're added successfully. So for the pattern, you just need to come to the section, select the pattern. And as you see, we have a fiery pattern right here, which is added successfully. So we need to get ready slowly uh, to work. Uh, just before we play our action, we just need to make sure about something. We need to select the brush tools. Uh, notice that uh, the opacity and the flow definitely should be on 100 because if each one of these don't be on 100 uh, the result might uh, get into some troubles so I'm just going to type my text guys notice that uh, in this group we need to uh, work exactly in this uh, group if you want to add any other layers you need to uh, add it in the group folder and just one uh, group should be added right here if you add more than one the action could uh, get a little messed up so it's just to work on this text if you want to type a text for example just uh, i'm going to type fire right here or if i want to just change my phone or the size uh, i'm just going to leave it as default as it is uh, we open hyperfiery from here and from this section just uh, click on the play logo i'm going to wait a moment uh to the levels uh step by step getting installed depending to your system it might take one or two minutes as you see how exactly uh, our fire is getting made and so professional the layers are getting created uh, so I'm just going to make it short and wait until uh, the action is finished uh, so perfect uh, we're done right here we have the success message and it's uh, telling us that our action is applied successfully uh, and from our layer panel we can start customizing and to add some more flames uh, you just need to uh, click and we're going to see how we can do so I'm just going to select stop just check out the result honestly it's magnificent the uh, details are brilliant uh, so after the action is applied switch off your caps lock for instance my caps lock is on right now I'm going to switch it off the uh, brush is uh, already selected uh, so if you want to create some more flames just to uh, click on each section uh, just check out how beautiful we have created fire right here you can also uh, press ctrl and z button as you see we're creating more and more flames on each part you want you can do so and click and they're going to have a random result for instance if you don't like this part you just need to uh, press ctrl z and click one more time so you have a different uh, shape of flame so i'm just going to do it so much that i get to my desirable result so if you want to create uh, many more uh, flames just select the uh, uh, brush tools and one by one select on each part you want to get uh, some more flames which is brilliant so i'm going to tell you about the section we start from the bottom uh, all of the details which you see uh, right here are customizable and editable for instance uh, this 
red color light which is uh, coming from the flame from the background by switching off this layer as you see uh, the effect is going to get switched off uh, one more time we have it right here if we uh, increase the opacity it's a separate layer which this uh, red color is going to spread everywhere if you want some more smoke you need to switch on smoke number four uh, so after switching smoke number four on uh, as you see we have a uh, huge uh, smoke in our background which you can make the result interesting you can also increase or decrease that opacity let's check it out or you can just switch the whole uh, group off in each one of these layers we're facing opacity so by changing the opacity in each one of these layers you're going to get to some complete completely new layers so as you see i'm going to increase the opacity and we have a huge effect i'm just going to place it back on 15 percent uh and lower the effect we have also particles right here, which when I switch uh, particles number one off, just check out what happens right here. Honestly, it's fantastic. Also, if I switch off the sparks, you're going to check out the results, which is uh, brilliant. So also around and at the corners, we have flames, which when we switch them off, we're going to check out the results. Also, if you want a little more minimal stuff, you can just uh, switch off some of the flames and the sparks. And the smoke so you have uh, not as much busy uh, fire but you can also get a duplicate of each one of these layers or increase the opacity so in the pattern uh, group right here uh, the fire pattern which is used by double click on the icon you can easily drag the pattern and change it which is honestly fantastic it allows you to also edit and control the flames inside your text uh, as beautiful as you see also you can increase uh, the scale so the flames have a larger size I'm just going to place the flame on 50 as you see uh, we have some larger flames right here or if you want uh, to remove some parts of the flames you just need to select on the mask layer which is the a white section select a brush a general a straight brush I'm going to place it on black uh, on mask um, uh, for instance I don't want this part I'm just going to remove the flame and erase it from right here uh, so notice that you have a complete control on the pattern sections uh, so if you want some more flames you can switch on uh, pattern number two which is a duplicate from pattern number one with a different position uh, which it creates the flames and fires from a different um, direction and position for the people that don't want some more uh, flames uh, it can be useful. Uh, I suggest you to uh, use pattern number two. Uh, so in the hue and uh, color balance, you can also change the colors of the flames inside the text. So text number uh, three and four and two is the uh, flames around uh, the text, which by increasing the opacity, they're going to be a little more bright and white. So also you have a control right here. We have the sparks. Uh, and the flame one more time as I told you earlier on it can give you some more control on the action which you have played and the result which you are given which you can customize so the adjustments folder uh, is the settings for the contrast and brightness uh, and the action is masked this part automatically so if you drag it on any other background uh, it won't change the image which the features is honestly uh, impressing so also uh, if you want to give some more color to the cinematic effect you can just select gradient map and increase the opacity and if you pay attention you're going to have some more dark and cinematic effect which it can be very interesting if you like uh, so uh, let's go and try on one more text and uh, just play around a little so you get totally familiar with this action I'm just going to come back to the main file and I'm going to just type the text right here uh, here we go uh, I just want to change my font right here so we come to this window here I want to use this font I think the size is too large a little I'm just going to minimize here we go it's excellent so uh, I think uh, we need to just increase the gap right here which you can just customize easily as I told you, you you're totally free so it's excellent and perfect and we don't need to do any other extra things uh, all you need to do is to just uh, click on hyper fiery and one more time uh, press play and we're going to be witness of 
Hi Bafari, one more time with a new text. Uh, so, uh, it's fantastic, uh, as you see, our uh, professional uh, fire reaction is applied on this text as well. Uh, the result is fantastic, so we can customise one more time. I think just the pad might need to drag it a little uh, towards this side, so we have a better result. And uh, you have uh, control on everything, which I'm not going to get into it. So now I'm going to show you how... Uh, you can just um, drag this effect to another background and use this so so attractive transparent uh, ability and I'm going to show you how you can do so. So I'm just going to insert an image right here in my Photoshop. Uh, so select the hyperfire folder and drag uh, onto the project which you want which is my image right here just like this. And here we go the result is breathtaking just check out how uh, brilliant this fiery style is applied uh, to this background uh, and just check out uh, the results you just need to customize a little I'm just going to uh, drag the window a little make it a little more larger and wide so i'm just going to give a black gradient and here we go it's perfect so in hyperfire we come back to this folder uh, we have a layer uh, in the result right here which uh, makes the background of your text black. So when we drag it on another uh, background, uh, it won't uh, let the background to show itself through the text. That layer is called text background. So when we switch it off, uh, uh, clarity is going to be added to our text, which we can uh, place the text on the background and you're going to see the background through the text which makes it glossy and see-through uh, which if you want it to be black you just need to uh, switch on the text background uh, and just decrease the opacity a little so it's up to you you're totally free I'm just going to drag it here I just want to uh, switch off this background I'm just going to uh, lessen the redness around a little and guys honestly it's magnificent uh, so also these parts which are covering the model's face, we just need to mask the hyperfile. Just uh, select a black mask brush and just remove these sparks which we don't. Uh, one time right here the result is amazing. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, just before we finish the video, uh, I'm just going to uh, try this action on the logo. I'm going to see how the result is going to turn out to be with reverse. I'm going to insert my logo. Uh, guys, you can just use one logo, but I'm going to insert all six of them so we can be witness of some different results. Uh, we're going to see what difference it makes on all different logos. So in all of my uh, logos, I'm just going to insert all of them in uh, this folder. So if a logo is outside of this group folder, it won't work so they definitely have to be inside the logo. I'm just going to remove this text because I'm going to try uh, this action on the logo. So I just I'll drag this one, Nike as well and finally Coca-Cola and here we go. Uh, let me just uh, place them in the right place. Uh, here we go. So I uh, just pay attention right here. We have six layers right here so if I play my action uh, I'll be in trouble because the action just is supposed to work on one uh, layer and just recognize one. So I'm going to merge all six of these logos and turn them into one layer so we can be witness of the result on one uh, layer. So with control, I'm just going to merge them. Now I'm going to uh, play Hyper Fiery just from the brush and flow that we should check if they're on 100. So we're going to select play and here we go. Started working. So uh, we're finished. Uh, we can be witness of the result right now. We're going to zoom. Honestly, it's amazing. Just check out the results. <laughs> They're on fire. Uh, it's fantastic. 
so i hope you enjoyed watching this video and i hope you like this product uh, i suggest you to uh, just download this product you won't find anything like it and our designers have spent weeks to design it to access just refer to hyperpix.net if you like this video a like comment and subscribe my youtube channel don't forget to share with your friends bye to a next product from mary